Welcome. I'm rodeo sportscaster Mike Brams, joined by Jerry Hurst. We're celebrating 10 years of the Lane Frost Challenge right here in Vernal, Utah. EMJ Productions pays tribute once again to world champion bull rider Lane Frost as we bring in some of the very best cowboys, Jerry, and good livestock. Exactly. We've got top contractors here bringing their best bulls. We're going to challenge the best cowboys in the Intermountain State. Well, we're going to be right back to you with some good bull riding, but right now, here's a word from someone in our neighborhood. Northeastern Utah is dinosaur land. Northeastern Utah is breathtaking scenery of the Flaming Gorge country and the High Uintas. It's open skies and untouched land. It's Dinosaur National Monument, scenic byways, state parks. It's world-class fishing, river running, hiking, biking, camping in alpine meadows and Red Rock Canyons. Whatever your experience and adventure is, it's here and waiting in Northeastern Utah. Welcome back. Once again, EMJ Productions brings us to the Lane Frost Challenge. And again, there's thousands of dollars of prize money, Jerry, that's on the line, as well as a beautiful Frontier buckle. It's going to be given away to our champion at the end of the day. Who do you think is our winner? Well, I don't know. We've got a lot of good cowboys. We've got a lot of good bulls. It's going to be a great event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're just a few minutes away from our bull riding competition, but we're going to start winding things down right now as we get ready to take you to the buck and shoots. And the Lane Frost Challenge is coming your way in just a few moments. A Cowboy's Tools of the Trade. PBR to MBR, Humps and Horns Bull Riding Magazine covers it all, with in-depth stories on up-and-coming riders and highlighting events from around the world. If it happens in the world of bull riding, Humps and Horns covers it. Order today and stay current with all the latest bull riding news and information. Call 866-464-6397 or www.humpsandhorns.com for more information. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lane Frost Challenge right here in Vernal, Utah. We're at the Western Park Arena. We got great bull riding that's coming your way. I'll tell you what, Jerry Hurst and myself, Mike Brem, is going to call the action this afternoon. We got some good cowboys, Jerry, that's going to ride some great bucking bulls this afternoon. Yes, we do. We're starting out with a full section of EMJ production bulls. Ellen Munson brought all these bulls to town. Good look cowboys, good, good bucking bulls. Look for some high scores. We can get some ridden right here. Here's a Blackfoot, Idaho talent. Duncan Spencer, some beach of the bull the Cowboys draw him. Besides being a bull rider, the Cowboys are a welder by profession. So many, many of the Cowboys don't travel all the time, but they like to climb onto bucking bulls. Kind of that rush, Jerry. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Looks like you got stretched out right from the get-go there. Let's see what went wrong in the replay. Well, Duncan Spencer, he's uh, going to need a full-time job. He's going to continue to ride like that. But right here, you're going to get to see just a little bit of what might have gone wrong with the ride by Duncan Spencer. Now it's important for the cowboy to stay in good posture right there as he tries to make a ride. You can see him just kind of getting out there and flopping around like a rag doll. It's not going to work, is it? He got too far forward and then kind of did a Hail Mary to get back and it didn't work for him. Yeah, not going to be good for the Blackfoot Idaho cowboy. He's going to take a no score. So we're going to see what happens here as we've got more good cowboys that's coming your way. Another EMJ buck and ball. Again, the EMJ production here. Eldon Munson put together a great uh, series of events here for the Lane Frost Challenge. Justin Haslam, just one of the good Cowboys we're going to see this afternoon. Spin City, the bowl the Cowboys drawn this afternoon. Spin Cycles, what he's got on his mind. He's not going to make it with that spin cycle today, Jerry. Getting tilted. There went the dummy. Yeah, the dummy's gone. Barrel's gone. Cowboy's gone. The bullfighter, he's just making sure he stays on the safe side of that barrel right there. Yeah, exactly. Justin Haslam, he's just sitting there on the fence thinking about everything that went wrong and what could have gone wrong has gone wrong for Justin Haslam because he's not going to get a shot at coming back for that short round. The very best of the Cowboys get to ride twice. He's done for the day. 
Justin has him right here. You see what goes wrong as he gets rocked off to the side, and he just didn't have much trying him Justin today, did he? Just never in good position from the start. I'll tell you what, the old buck and bull there, Spin City, sure gave the dummy a, a toss in the air. And yes, he did. We get to see the back of the Wranglers on the way out. A disappointed cowboy, but I'll tell you what, next steps, Fred Kinney. Don't count this cowboy out until you give him an opportunity to ride. Brock is the bull. Uh, Fred Hills from Vernon, Utah, good cowboy. All right. Been around a long time. Vernon Cowboy going to see if he can slide in on a bucking bull right here. Going to have to have an attitude the size of Paul Bunyan if he gets himself a qualified ride. Another good bucking bull. EMJ bucking bull. And the Cowboys turned the corner on this one. Going both ways. Jerry going to stay there for a qualified there, there. ride. Looks like he's going to make it. Oh, yeah. Pull everything but a switchblade on me, he says. And let me see what I can do with it. He got way out of position, but he hung in there. As long as he's got his hand in that rope and doesn't hit the ground, he can still... Runs that clock Fred Kinney never stops trying, and that was the important ingredient right there in that ride. They're going to give him a score. It's not going to be pretty, but I'll tell you what, he stays there for a qualified effort. And again, 68 points on the leaderboard. He's going to be the only qualified ride to this point. Just when you think he's going to the ground, he uh, cowboys up just a little bit and tries a little harder. 68 score for Fred, and that was a tribute to both the bull and the rider. Neither the bull nor the rider performed to their uh, ability today. Next up is going to be American Fork Utah talent, Little John the Buck and Bull. Cody Robison going to see if he can ride one. Another one of the Cowboys has bought a front row seat to our event tonight. We're going to see if his uh, fees he's paid going to get him an opportunity to win some prize money right here, Jerry. American Fork Cowboy here. Cody Robison with a start to this one. The Bull just kind of ducking and diving and not making it real difficult for Cody Robison. But he's there to stay for the eight-second effort. We'll see what our judges say. Well, that bull wasn't a real easy bull to, to ride. He changed directions a lot of time, but didn't have a lot of action, not a lot of kick, so the score's not going to be real high. Yep, you right here, though, you get to see how the cowboy recovers. Goes once to the right, once to the left. Got to keep that head down. Watch those front shoulders is what's important. 73 points on the ride, Jerry. It's about what you thought? I think that's about right. It's got to be a little bit better than the 68 uh, ride. I think that's uh, about where it belongs. Score on the board for Cody Robinson. He'll get an opportunity, hopefully, to come back to our short round. Again, the top 10 Cowboys qualify for the short round, get an opportunity to ride for all the money. Here we go to uh, Corey Olson, Benjamin, Utah Cowboy, the Bull Vanilla Ice. Going to be riding for the gold this afternoon. Like to have that silver and gold belt buckle that's given to our champion. Exactly. They're nice buckles they get out here. Corey Olson, the Cowboy, right here. Is he going to see if he can get a start to this one? Again, Vanilla Ice, usually one of those that turns up the notches this afternoon. He's just having a hard time getting into the event. I'll tell you what, this is a cowboy. He's uh, got a bull underneath him trying to figure out which way he's going to go and what he's going to do. That bull usually really bucks, but he just didn't get it figured out today. He had an off day for, for him. Just like you and I, sometimes we have good days, sometimes we have bad, and right there, vanilla ice. Well, it's going to be nice enough for 66 points for your cowboy Corey Olson. Not the uh, kind of score he was hoping for, but I'll tell you what, he was a uh, cowboy enough to stay there and take the eight seconds. He will probably be back in the top round. Well, we'll see what happens. Lots to be settled before we finally get to that. Again, a good crowd on hand tonight for the uh, Elder Monster production of the Lane Frost Challenge. Again, named after former world champion bull rider Lane Frost. Jared Padilla, white Russian, the bull the Cowboys going to climb aboard Farmington, New Mexico, where this cowboy calls home. Long ways from home this afternoon to see if he can ride a buck and bowl in Vernal, Utah. Got to win some money to make the trip back. Well, let's see if we can get something to him right here. The cowboy gets a start. Uh-oh. Wasn't what the cowboy had on his game plan. Slapped the bull right away and then just gave it up. No sense staying on. He knew he had disqualified, so he just got out of trouble. He was hoping to tee up right there and hit a long ball, and I'll tell you what, all it does is, yeah, he's sitting there telling him, you see him go out from underneath me? <laughs> if he had not done that, I'd been able to ride him, but you know, that's what the uh, Cowboys got to do is figure out what they're going to do with the bull, and then they got to figure out how they're going to ride him, right? That's what we call the re-ride story. Yeah, well, I almost had him is how that goes. It hadn't been for I let go of the rope, and he was a little more bull than I could ride. I'd have rode him. I only got into the well, touched him from the free hand, and let go of the rope. Yeah, well, we're having a good time. Lots of folks here enjoying good cowboys and great bull riding here at the Lane Frost Challenge in Vernal, Utah. Ricochet, Wacy all right, another one of the good cowboys is here this afternoon for our event. This is a cowboy who can ride a bucking bull. Jerry, looky here as he settles in on this one. He's got him ridden, making it look easy. Well, that bull just kind of gave it up at the end. He started started bucking good, but he just kind of, I guess the cowboy was riding him so easy. He thought, well, I might as well just 
giver up here. Well, Wasey already kind of an interesting history. Uh, besides being a bull rider in Utah High School Rodeo Association, where the Cowboy learned all the tricks of the trade. He was a standout there. Put 76 points on the board. The Cowboy's a shrimp farmer. A shrimp farmer. Yeah, like Bubba Gump, you know. A cowboy, <laughs> he raises shrimp, and uh, I'll tell you what, Wasey Allred gets a score of 76. Going to be good enough oh, to get him back. Oh, little kiss from there the crowd. There we go. Somebody's having fun tonight. There's a Kodak moment right there. All right, so Wasey Allred goes to the top of the leaderboard with 76 points, and Hutch Haslam, Morgan, Utah Cowboy, he's probably got something to say about that. Uh, Bob the Bully climbs aboard this afternoon. Going to see if that's uh, going to be a good combination for this cowboy. Looking for the gold at the end of the rainbow right here at the end of this ride. Do it right here. Hutch Haslam, Morgan, Utah. National High School Rodeo Association finals qualifying right here. The cowboy found the middle of one. Jerry, hold on to this one, cowboy. He's got him ridden. Yes, he did. I'll tell you what, he was Union right in the bowl. middle of that spin cycle there, wasn't he? Yes, he was. He had that uh, bull right underneath him and just watching him do a pirouette underneath there. Old Hutch kind of got uh, in trouble there, but the bull kind of slowed down and let him stay on for the eight. We're going to get a score here. Well, Dan Wild gives him 78 points on his effort right here. You get to see it again. This cowboy is right in the middle of this one. Hutch doing a nice job again. You uh, see him get a little loose with those feet. He's losing that, that outside was, foot. That foot was getting behind him. That was to his detriment. Fortunately, Bob slows down just a little bit, and Hutch is able to regroup. Stay there for the eight-second effort. He was nice enough to stop and let him get off. Yeah, to, that's the way we like it to be in the bull yes, ride. Huh? Well, former uh, National High School Rodeo Association champion Jerry Hurst here. Call the color as we take it to Keith McClure, the bull they call Tornado. Here's another one of those cowboys that can ride some of the good ones. Again, these are EMJ production bulls. Well, he's uh, put together a good bullpen. Elder Munson bringing some good ones this afternoon for the cowboys to ride. And right there, the cowboy. Oh, he had a good start to that one. It looked like he was on his way to the finish line, but unfortunate, right there, he just kind of gets dumped in the dirt. Yeah, tipped to the outside, and it was all over. It's kind of like getting taken to the altar and just dumped right off. It's a, uh, you get there. Keith McClure going to take an early exit this afternoon. Not going to be a score. Getting the pickup men trying to move the livestock in and out of the arena. They come in through that uh, bucket shoot gate every time, but it's always a little tough to get them on the outside because they never know where the uh, exit gate is in each arena. It's always in a little bit of a different place. You get to see the bullfighters there talking it over with the cowboy, telling him what went right, what went wrong. When that whistle blows, that doesn't mean you're out of out of danger. You got to get to the fence and get over it. You see Bo Shaw there uh, waving his hat, trying to get the attention of that bull. And I'll tell you what, the cowboy. He didn't need the bullfighters this afternoon, per se, because he got out of there uh, safely. But I'll tell you what, Keith McClure had an opportunity right there that he gave up. I want to make mention, the bullfighters today are Zach Edmunster, Bo Shaw, Brian Porter, and Skeeter are doing a great job. Yeah, we're going to take you back to the leaderboard. Hutch Haslam, the Cowboys, number one with 78. Right behind him, Wacy Allred, a 76-point ride. Cody Robinson, he uh, fills out the top three at 73. And then a couple of scores in the 60s for Fred Kinney, Corey Olson. Those are the Cowboys at this point going to make it back to the short round. Get to see what's going on here on the arena floor as Will E. Thorne, Green River, Wyoming, entertaining the crowd in between our sections of bull riding here for the Lane Frost Challenge. Again, named after the namesake of bull riding, former world champion Lane Frost, grew up right here in the uh, Vernal, Utah area, and Eldon Munson Productions putting on these Lane Frost Challenge bull riding events all across the country. So it's uh, an opportunity for Cowboys to win prize money and all in the recognition of a former world champion, Willie Thorne right there, entertaining our crowd and having a good time here in Vernal, Utah. Hi, I'm Eldon Munson, president of EMJ Productions. We're excited to share our event and hope you're enjoying the show. We feel it is a privilege to carry on the legacy of Lane Frost through our pro-level bull riding events and are proud to support a college fund in his name. We would encourage you to make the Lane Frost Tour part of a fair or celebration in your hometown. For detailed information, call 435-454-3549. Thank you for watching and enjoy the show. From PBR to MBR, Humps and Horns Bull Riding Magazine covers it all with in-depth stories on up-and-coming riders to highlighting events from around the world. If it happens in the world of bull riding, Humps and Horns covers it. Order today and stay current with all the latest bull riding news and information. Call 866-464-6397 or www.humpsandhorns.com for more information.
Thanks for joining us. We're going to return to the action here at the Lane Frost Challenge from Vernal, Utah, the Western Park Arena. Our Cowboys getting ready to ride. Some Cowboys for the first section. Jerry, put some pretty good numbers on the board. We're going to see if we can do even better right here. Already got five qualified rides. Well, we're going to take it to Brighton, Colorado. Our first Cowboy is going to be David Lingfelter. Air ride is the bull. The Cowboys drawn this afternoon. Let's see if we can get ourselves a qualified ride out of this young talent. Uh-oh, and it's another early exit, Jerry. That didn't take long. No, it didn't Brighton, take long Colorado at all. Cowboy. He was hoping that he'd have a good challenge in front of him this afternoon. I'll tell you what, uh, Cowboy early as he gets out of there today, not much of a challenge for the bull to get him down to the ground. That's an LB4, Ed Lang bull. Good. Eddie Lang has brought some good bucking bulls here. EMJ Productions and uh, EMJ Bucking Stock brought some good ones and some uh, more good bucking bulls by TNR brought here this weekend. So we're going to see great bucking bulls and more just like that. They're putting cowboys to the ground. We hope not. We hope we just get them up there for great scores. Having a lot of fun here this evening as we got a good crowd here for our Lane Frost Challenge. Richie Farnsworth, cowboy we get to see quite often as he rides bucking bulls all over the western part of the United States. Dollar Hyde, the bull he's drawn this afternoon, makes a return trip here to the uh, Lane Frost Challenge, see if he can get himself a qualified ride. Uh, Jensen, Utah boy right here, close to Vernal. Been two times a qualifier of the National High School Rodeo Association Championship Finals, and right here, Richie Farnsworth, uh-oh, just gets a little bit uh, too far back on that bucking bull right there. Yep, behind. Yes, he did, and as they uh, get him up to his feet right there, they're going to give him a little encouragement, let him know that uh, we know that you tried. It's always important to try and keep in the metal game right here in bull riding, right, Jerry? He's hurting, and, you know, some of these injuries we don't know about could have happened, you know, last week or a month ago, and, and so sometimes they don't ride up to their potential because they're already injured. Yeah, when you're playing with injuries, it's always a tough way to try and climb aboard a bucking bull and know that you got a lot of athlete underneath you because these bulls truly are athletes bred to do exactly what they do, and that's put cowboys to the ground. They uh, just keep breeding them to be hotter and hotter, don't they? They do. we got the Born to Buck program, and it is, in effect, these bulls are getting better and better as time goes on. Pepper Popper, Easy Lingfelder. Brighton, Colorado Cowboy. Going to see if he can test the talents of another one of those. It's going to be a man against beast grudge match right here. Easy get a good start to this one. Friend, ride him. You're going to make it. Uh-oh. He gets all sprawled up there, kind of like a turtle on his back. Now what do I do? I might have rung his bell just a little bit. He doesn't know where he's at. Yeah. Easy uh, trying to figure out what's going on. Seems a little breezy in, in the Cowboy's mind right there. Brighton, Colorado Cowboy, though, we told you, right? He was a good hand in the bull riding in uh, previous events. And this afternoon, I'll tell you what, that bull just kind of rung his belt. I think, yeah, he hit awful hard. Well, to action there. That bull just kind of jumped out from under him. Fortunately, the bull just kind of stands there and says, all right, now what you going to do with me is they put him back into the catch pen. Well, the bull riders are going to go right back to their hands and see if they can't get some of these bulls ridden. Firefly, another Eddie Lang bucking bull. Montrose, Colorado, where they raise some good bucking bulls, take them to lots of uh, bull riding events across the country. Quincy Adams, he's going to see if he can ride one. See what he's got going he on today. All right, let's see if we can get a start to this one right here. Quincy Adams gets hanging off to the side. That's always trouble and not a place a cowboy wants to be. Boy, trying to stand him right up on his head there. The bull faked one way and went the other, and I think that cowboy just tried to outthink him. I'll tell you what, a cowboy who raises buck and bulls as a hobby tries to uh, make a mark in the world raising buck and bulls, rides them on occasions, and this afternoon he just gets stood right on the top of his noggin right here. Watch here as this cowboy gets tipped up, just trying to get out of there. And wow. the bullfighter's just trying to get the attention of the bull to try and turn him the other way because the bull knows he's there. They're smart. Just got him vertical on his head down. It's not the way to do it. Pretty darn scary. There you go. Uh, Willie Thorne got his bull horns on. Austin Bagley, another one of the good cowboys. Tabiona cowboy right here, Jerry. Full throttles the bull he's on. This is another LB4 bull Eddie Lang brought into town today. Talk about Cowboys with credentials. Cowboys been a qualifier of the Utah High School Rodeo Association Finals, the Intermountain Pro Rodeo Association, Rocky Mountain Pro Rodeo Association. Done it all the way on his way right here to the uh, Lane Frost Challenge. He knows one got away from him right there, Jerry. Not going to work today. He wants that bull back, you can tell. Yeah, Austin Bagley, one of those Cowboys who uh, usually pretty good at riding bucking bulls, and he gets an early exit today. Unfortunate for that Cowboy, he won't get a score either. I want you to notice as this bull comes out, the stock contract is going to have a hold of his tail. And that the reason for that is to get that bull turned out so they're not going to foul that cowboy coming out of the bucking machine. Yeah, okay. Well, we appreciate the heads up there. 
Kind of always wonder why they do those things, and that's exactly why, huh? A little step on the back there. Kind of get him a good start and a good turn as he gets going. Back to the bucket shoots. The next cowboy, he's drawn the bull they call Sweet Slice. We're going to have a uh, rodeo slugfest right here as Dennis Manning going to see if he can come out on top as these two try and uh, match each other right here on the arena floor. Dennis Manning with a start on a good bucking bull. Sweet Slice, he's going to dice and uh, cut him up right here. Oh, get up, Cowboy, get up, get up. You see the bullfighters in there to try and draw the attention of that bull. I'll tell you what, there's a bunch of them in there making uh, haste to try and get that Cowboy out of there. But, you know, Bo Shaw always seems to show up at the right time. That's he was right. there to draw that bull away. Good job, Bo Shaw. That's three bullfighters right there. And sometimes these bulls know who was on them. And they go after that bull rider, even though those bullfighters are right in there trying to divert them from that Cowboy. He wanted that cowboy. Those guys are right there doing their job. They do a great job this afternoon. You know, uh, good bullfighters are a bull rider's very best friend. Save him from a lot of grief. And that's uh, fortunate for that cowboy, Dennis Manning. He just kind of gets uh, the bull steps right over the top of him, never right in the middle of him. We're just glad he was able to get up and walk away. All right, we're going to take it to Tyler Hobson. Here's a cowboy who comes from Lava Hot Springs, Idaho. Good place for him to go soak up uh, some warm water. Competes uh, here at the Lane Frost Challenge. A lot of PRCA events we see this cowboy. Watch here. LNR Buck and Bull. Or excuse me, TNR Buck and Bull. The cowboy, oh, with one with lots of elevation. Wasn't much of a challenge. Well, that was a good bull. Really got some elevation. Really a stout looking bull. We're going to see what happens right here again as that uh, bull comes out. Gets some uh, high jump. Lots of drop. A little much for the cowboy. Shaking his head like, what happened to me? Yeah, well, right here you're going to get to see it. Got to the inside, and his hand came out. Oftentimes that hand comes out as a result of the body being out of position and put too much strain on that on that hand. Well, I think he was waiting for that bull to commit to that direction, and he kind of held up on him, and you know, like you say, just uh, pops him right out of there a little bit too soon. Michael Edgman, this is a cowboy out of Green River, Wyoming, rides some uh, good bucking bulls. TNR bull underneath him this afternoon. We'll see what he can do with it. This bull's so bad, they just call him 75. He doesn't even have a name. Well, we're going to see if he can hunker down. It's going to take eight seconds to get you a qualified score. We've already got some Cowboys that are up on that leaderboard. We're going to see if we can add this Cowboys name to the list of Cowboys up on the leaderboard. Not going to be today for your Cowboy Michael Edgman. Uh-oh, Cowboy gets up there, and he's safe now. But I'll tell you what, uh, he was getting tossed around there quite a bit. That bull rider didn't even get ready. you got to get up on that rope, and you got to cock your hammer and be ready. You watch how nonchalant this is bull rider was when he called for that bull. Well, we're not going to get to see it there, but he was back off his rope and just not ready. Well, you see that uh, leg of that bull right on the chin. He's not one of those cowboys who don't wear that protective gear off. Well, lucky. That was a near miss. It could have been disastrous. Yeah, it could be a bad thing, but uh, Michael Edgman's all right. He's going to take a no score. You see, uh, these cowboys, they come to ride, and they come to take home the first place money. They pay big entry fees, and there's no sponsors for a lot of these guys, so... They can't, uh, they can't make it financially, they're out. Next Cowboy comes out of Rock Springs, Wyoming. Cowboys from all across the country here this evening, Jerry. Ride some of the good bucking bulls brought here for the Lane Frost Challenge. This is Kai Reed. Another TNR bull. Wow, you see the elevation that on that one. they got some altitude. Holy smokes, they should name him altitude. Cowboy who's a mechanic in the uh, regular day, bull rider on the weekend. I'll tell you what, Kai Reed. He uh, got to see the stars this afternoon up there. He could have changed the light bulbs when he's up there. Oh, look at the old bull. He doesn't like the clown's hat either. Yeah, he's going to uh, try and uh, make haste on something here today. Good crowd at Vernal. Always get a good crowd at Vernal, Utah. Yeah, well, watch right here. The cowboy, that bull, holy smokes, lots of lift, lots of drop, and I'll tell you what, pitches that cowboy first jump right into the dirt. Yes, he did. There was not much uh, effort there on the Cowboys' part. It didn't look like to me. So it's back to the leaderboard. Hutch Haslam still the Cowboy in control. He had 78 points on that uh, ride he had. Wasey Allred right behind him with 76. Five total, Jerry, but not a qualified ride from the last section. Boy, the Bulls were being pretty darn tough on the Cowboys. We thought we were going to get a lot of rides, but they were all in the first section. Well, I'll, that section. I'll tell you what, right now we just uh, moved to something maybe a little more simple, like get the kids involved in the action, try and uh, give them a little prize money this afternoon. Got the money sheep Got out there the on the Got the money lamb floor. out there. Tell you what, they almost, try to ride that lamb. Yeah, he's, he's, a, some, he's, he's a bucker. He's got some altitude as well. He's a bucker, he's a jumper, and I'll tell you what, the kids are going to sleep a lot better tonight. All right, here comes the kids. They're going to get him uh -oh, oh, right there. Him got him a uh, steer wrestler is what we got <laughs> in our crowd. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the Lane Frost Challenge here at the Western Park Arena, Vernal, Utah, the venue. Uh, Cowboys getting ready to ride here in section number three, the Lane Frost Challenge. Luke Parkhurst, Roosevelt, Utah, Jerry, he's drawing a good buck and bull. TR Bull, Dennis the Menace. Well, we're gonna see if he can stay on there for a qualified ride, a walk on the wild side right here. We've got Cowboys already put some numbers up on the board, 78, the high marked ride. Right here, we're gonna see if we can change that as your Cowboy, uh-oh, down into the dirt. And I'll tell you what, I thought he was gonna get caught in that rope. Get him warmed up. No, he did not. Again, he spent a lot of time getting ready for that ride, but he didn't spend very much time riding this afternoon. A little bit of bad luck for Luke Parkhurst. Yes, there was. I don't know what went wrong there. We'll take a look back here. Well, we're going to get an opportunity to do so, and we don't usually get to do that if you're at a live event. But right here on television, we get to see that replay as they roll back on that bull ride right there. They're locked into his hand as that bull bucked away from him. Yeah, this uh, cowboy gets a rope on that bull and puts him away. Again, your cowboy without a qualified ride there, we're going to move along to another good cowboy. Lane Frost Challenge, Joe Frost the Cowboy, Randall at Utah. Here's a cowboy who's got a great future, a former National High School Rodeo Association bull riding champion, Utah High School Rodeo Association all-round champion. It's a good bull, Jerry. This one of Lane's uh, siblings here, not siblings, but one of his relatives. All right, Johnny, be good. There's a buck and ball, and here's your cowboy. Uh-oh, Joe Frost. Get up, get out of there, cowboy. Fortunate for the cowboy, the bull turns the opposite direction. But I'll tell you what, Joe Frost got out a little early today. He was showing a little of his bullfighting skills, but not his bull riding skills today. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's not one of those that you can get down to the ground very easy. And you see those bullfighters on the way back kind of giving him a little pat on the back. Keep your chin up, Cowboy. It'll come back to you. Well, everybody has a bad day, and this is a this was an off day for Joe. Certainly was. Unfortunately for Joe, that bull just kind of takes the opposite direction because he kind of looked at him, thought maybe he's got him exposed out there, could have got after him, but he gets him back there and uh, he's all right. So we're going to keep things going. We're going to move along to our next cowboy, Tad Woody. Handy Manny. Good bucking bull. Handy Manny, TNR bull. He's another relative of Lane Frost. He's from Vernal, Utah, right here. Well, the Cowboy going to play his cards right here. Hopes he's holding enough in his hand that he can get himself a qualified ride. Let's see if we can help our Cowboy right here get her done. He's got a good buck and bull right here. TNR buck and bull, and he gets a uh, corner that's a little much for him to negotiate here, Jerry. That's right. Everything went wrong there. I don't know what to, what to say about that, except that uh, he just didn't have his hammer cocked today. His vest says, say I won't, say you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Get bucked off right there, Cowboy. I won't make those mistakes again. I hope that's what he's saying. Yes, sir. Early exit, and there's not going to be a qualified ride for you, Cowboy Tad Moody. But I'll tell you what, we get to see it right here again. Lots of good Cowboys still to come. Hopefully, we're going to put some big numbers up on that board. First section, we get five qualified rides. And I'll tell you what, the Bulls being pretty stingy yeah, with the Cowboys. one sense. Yeah. Moving right along, we're going to take you down to the Bull Ring Bucket Shoot. And again, Vernal, Utah is the uh, place we're at. Elder Monson uh, production of the Lane Frost Challenge. Cody Watkins, West Haven, Utah. Another good buck and bull. Jerry, what do you think about this one? Take a look. Good bull. Get right into the spin. Cowboy didn't warm him up. Cody Watkins comes down premature. The eight second buzzer, another one of those Cowboys that Missed opportunities is what he's going to have in his pocket this exactly. afternoon, this Jerry. Young man that raises bulls is a hobby. Yeah, well, a missed opportunity there to put, and put some numbers up on the board and again raising bulls. And besides being a bull rider, the only other crazy thing he does with his life is he's involved in demolition derbies. Wow. <laughs> guy ought to find some, the adrenaline rush. Yeah, a guy got to find some professions that don't have much risk to them, don't they? <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, he gets down a little bit early as we keep things moving, though. Vernal, Utah Cowboy, Chancey Slaw is inside the uh, bucket chute there. And what do you think about this bull? Well, I don't know. You better not buck off a bull named Jelly Bean and have to go tell your girlfriend. Well, <laughs> Jelly I hope. Jelly Bean bucked me off. Just hope it's not one of those that tasted so sweet and it turns out to be a bad taste in your mouth. Right here, but your Cowboy, Chancey Slaw, the start to this one, but it's only going to be about three seconds of a good eight-second bull ride. And as those bullfighters step in there and uh, pull him away, well, the Cowboy had a lot to bring to the table, but it was tough competition this afternoon with a good bucking bull. When those bulls change directions like that, you got to square up to the bull. That means you got to have your chest square with the bull. you got to look right down at those shoulders and stay square on top of that bull. Well, he gets a good look at this one. And again, right here, you're going to watch as that leg comes up. The bull comes around, throws him right out of there. And you notice when, when your body goes forward, your feet come out. 
come out the back. Inherent risk here in the bull riding. If you can't keep your uh, body in good posture, you're going to be in trouble. Jordan McClure is going to be the Cowboy Roosevelt, Utah. He's not very far from home. He's going to see if he can ride for the crowd here at the Western Park Arena and see if he can put some points up on our leaderboard. Pick number 729 of the TR string. TNR. TNR Bucking Bull has been pretty uh, rank here this afternoon. Let's see what happens here. It's Jordan McClure. He's got a start to this one. They got a good seat on him. He get work back just a little bit. I thought maybe he was going to have enough, but that bull just kept getting hotter and hotter as he went in that circle, didn't he? He kept getting further and further behind. Went right out the rumble seat. Yeah, that bull just kept getting ranker and ranker. And uh, boy, Jordan McClure were lucky to get out of there without uh, being a little uh, roughed up this afternoon. So as your next cowboy sets in the wings and weights right here, you get one more chance to look at what went wrong for Jordan McClure. Bullfighters in position. But, Hang uh, up there, the bullfighters right there doing a good job. Yeah, they're doing the very best they can to try and make sure our cowboys are safe. You're gonna move right along. Another cowboy who's got some roots to that uh, world champion Lane Frost, Strider Leverton. Got a uh, relative right here. Gonna see if he can ride a button and bull. Buttons. Strider's mother is Lane's cousin. Well, we're gonna see if we can push all the right buttons because this cowboy inside the bucket shoot, uh, he's hoping that the luck of the Irish is gonna prevail here for the cowboy. Oh, oh, another one of those. Would have, should have, could have, whatever you wanna say it. Not gonna happen today for Strider Leverton. He's hurting. He comes up to hurting and again, maybe that's a pre-existing injury, we don't know. Well, uh, bull there kind of caught him off guard when they threw that rope on him, didn't they? A little big a loop on that bull. Went right through it. Well, we get Strider up and out of there. We'll uh, go and doctor him just a little bit. But right here, you get to see what he comes out way off the back of that rope, yeah, doesn't he? Way off his rope. Bull changed direction. Good bull. Good Didn't have there. them uh, feet set as he got started this afternoon and just popped him right back off that rope. Crown having a good time here at the Lane Frost Challenge. We've seen uh, great bucking bulls. Rides have been a little stingy, but it's not because the bulls aren't uh, tough to ride. They've been really tough. New Mexico Cowboy right here, Jerry. And maybe Joseph McConnell will change that, that up. Let's get a ride here, Cowboy. Another good TNR Bucking Bull. Going to see if we can ride one. He's got that Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation uh, logo there on his vest. He's got one that's got some horns this afternoon. Let's see if this can be a world-class effort there. Looky, Joseph McConnell. He's got everything put together, and he's riding him without even the rope, Jerry. That was a great ride, but I, I hope he worked on that get-off a little bit. <laughs> might have a short turn. Yeah, I'll tell you, <laughs> he got eight <laughs> seconds with the hand in and another two or three with the hand out. Look, Ma, no hands, he's saying yeah, out he there. He's have a short career if he keeps getting off like that. Great yeah, ride. Well, look at the score. It comes up for the Cowboy, 82 points. He made it look pretty darn easy yes, right there. Did. You know, he just takes a few more turns. Nice yeah, nice buck and bull. That was one that you like uh, to climb aboard, and it's just going to put you right in the middle and make it easy on you if you can uh, stay there and get a good start. So another Cowboy that likes to ride buck and bulls and does quite often, Joe Bowden. Out of Roosevelt, Utah. He's another one of the local talents that's uh, here this afternoon. See if he can claim some of the prize money. He's lit the case on the explosives right here. Going to see what happens here as the fuses are going off on this one right here. Joe Bowden, Roosevelt Cowboy. Bull goes one way, then the other. Throws him into the dirt. Going to see if he can tap dance all over him. The bull fighters there to save his bacon. What do you think, Jerry? I think that was a wild ride. That was, that's a wild bull. Wow, that was a lot of action right there. A lot of head action on that bull as well as body action. Absolutely. So, uh, Wild Joe, everything's wild in his ride this afternoon. Boy, look at that bull. Well, don't be looking at his head if you're one and, uh, wondering where that bull's going to go because you have uh, no idea, do you? That's why we say you look at that shoulder and don't watch their head because it could go the opposite direction to the, the bull's direction. Wild Joe on his way out right there, and I'll tell you what, uh, that one good bull ride that we've seen there, Josh McConnell, he put, uh, excuse me, Joseph McConnell, 82 points on the board. It goes to the highest marked ride of our event to this point. We've got some good scores, Jerry, and we still got some uh, good bull riders to come back here for our short round. We're going to see what happens here as they get back and try and ride for all the beans. Here on the arena floor, Jerry, some of the crowd getting into the action. This is what goes on in between bull riding sections. This is the mutton busting event. We've got a non-willing participant, it looks like. Mutton not busting. Not too happy. But wool riding. There you go. Mom's going to throw him on there and make him try it anyway. We're going to get him on there one yeah. way or the other. 
Well, when you get a horse you don't want to ride and you get bucked off, you just uh, get back on and ride in that cowboy. We try to make it a good experience uh, for it. It's called getting a little help from your friends. There you go. Well, lots of friends here at the Lane Frost Challenge. Again, we're having a great section of bull riding. We're back here in just a few minutes with the short round. Good bulls. We've saved for the very best for the last, Jerry. Here we go. We're going to ride one. Another good cowboy. We'll be right back with the Lane Frost Challenge final round. Hi, I'm Eldon Munson, president of EMJ Productions. We're excited to share our event and hope you're enjoying the show. We feel it is a privilege to carry on the legacy of Lane Frost through our pro-level bull riding events and are proud to support a college fund in his name. We would encourage you to make the Lane Frost Tour part of a fair or celebration in your hometown. For detailed information, call 435-454-3549. Thank you for watching and enjoy the show. PBR to MBR, Humps and Horns Bull Riding Magazine covers it all, with in-depth stories on up-and-coming riders and highlighting events from around the world. If it happens in the world of bull riding, Humps and Horns covers it. Order today and stay current with all the latest bull riding news and information. Call 866-464-6397 or www.humpsandhorns.com for more information. Welcome back to the Lane Frost Challenge. It's a championship round as we take you to the very best of the livestock. The Cowboys who've been drawn back or have uh, put scores together, Jerry, to see if they can get themselves qualified right. Start with Dennis Manning right here. Yes, sir. Dennis Manning drew back in. I believe he didn't make a ride, but he probably qualified because of time. They draw these guys back in with the longest rides in the long round. Double XL, the bull, uh, EMJ buck and bull. And the cowboy gets off to the side there, and he's off before it ever really gets started today. Got tipped into his hand and was out of there. So it's going to be no qualified ride for Dennis Manning. And that's not the way we want to start the short round. The very best of the cowboys from uh, scores already provided in our event get to come back here and ride the very best of the buck and bulls to see who's going to be crowned our champion. And that's good to note. These are the best bulls coming back. Very best of the bulls. And you've seen that bull right there. Boy, he comes out and ducks and dives, and it was uh, – an early exit for Dennis Manning, but he had every reason to be down into the ground. That bull just pulled one on him. That was one of the EMJ bulls brought to town by Eldon Munson. He brings some great bulls to these events. TNR Buck and Bull, Stephen Smith the Cowboy, take you back to the uh, arena. We're going to see what we do inside that bucket shoot is get ready on the outside. We try and make a qualified ride. Another one of the bovine bouncers with a bad attitude that we've got here this weekend. And uh, these bulls would love to do a tap dance all over the Cowboy. Steve Smith got a start to a ride right here. See if he can keep up to this one. A good buck and bull. Lots of adrenaline, lots of uh, whipping. Boy, I'll tell you what, Jerry, it wasn't quite going to be enough today, was it? Another good bull spinning both ways. Good effort by the Cowboy. Give him credit. He tried him. Steve Smith put 60 points together on his previous ride, so he was one of those Cowboys had an opportunity for an average or an aggregate total. He's going to go out without a score, and unfortunate for our Cowboy Steve Smith. A good buck and bull underneath him today would have provided a lot of points, but unfortunately he goes out with a no score as well. Seeing right here is your Cowboy one more time. Get another look at it. Under the right, then to the left. Just kind of got behind him, lost that foot, and he's out of there. Yeah, those feet just kind of pop up, and if you can't get them back, you can't get them set, you're in trouble. That's what happened there to your Cowboy Steve Smith. Lane Frost Challenge brings you back to the great action of the good Cowboys. We've saved the very best for the last. This is always the favorite part of the event. You take you down to the bucket shoots, Corey Olson. The Bully Road previous vanilla ice for 66 points. Wasn't really up to the task. TNR Buck and Bull underneath him, Jerry. This ought to be a real good effort right Let's here. Let's get two together. Let's see if we can do it right here because Corey Olson's the kind of cowboy that can do just that. Watch as he's got his hammer cocked. We're going to see if we can get uh, everything going. Oh, boy, looky here. The bull's tapped off. And I'll tell you what, uh, Corey Olson, he was on his way to making a qualified ride. And right there, he gets thrown out the back door. And he knows he missed an opportunity. The Benjamin Utah Cowboy did make a good effort, but it wasn't going to happen today. 
I'll tell you what, boy, I thought he was going to tap off on that one and just go all the way to the winner's circle. And it wasn't going to happen for Corey Olson, I'll tell you. That was a cowboy with a lot of try, though. He started a very good ride. He did get like one he was started. Get tapped off and get one ridden. Looky here, everything seems to be going right. Right here, he starts to get loosened up, and I'll tell you what, as that bull just kept working him back off that rope, that was a great bucking bull. He lost that inside foot and then got leaned to the outside. Important to remember that we have uh, cowboys that are bred to ride, bulls that are born to buck. The born to buck breeding program, you take the very best of the livestock, continue to cross them, and boy, the level of competition in the bull riding here is amazing anymore, is it not, Jerry? Did you see that cheerleader? I That's did the ugliest see. cheerleader I think I've ever seen. Well, what's not gonna be ugly is Wacey already, 76 points on his first ride, and Magic Man, this ought to be a good one right here as the cowboy sees if he can show a little magic himself. LB4 bull. Eddie All Lang. Right. An Eddie Lang bull. Uh-oh. Wacey Allred, what went wrong right there? Cowboy, 76 points. He always rides him, Jerry. Better question is what went right. Yeah, well, that's probably that true. That would be nothing. That would be nothing for uh, Wacey, but I'll tell you what, he rides the majority of the time. He does. He puts together some good bull rides right here. We kind of get a glimpse of what happened. He just kind of gets rocked off he to the side. Tipped to the outside and was out of there. He was gone before we ever got any uh, competition out of him at all today. So Wacey Allred, he becomes another one on the list with only one qualified ride and still 76 points. We're going to keep moving as we take you back to the bucket shoots. Hutch Haslam, he's another one of those cowboys that uh, he's had a lot of luck in his lifetime. I'll tell you what, he's got a lot more skills than he's got luck, though. Let's see what happens. Good he tries to ride here. a good bull today. Morgan, Utah Cowboy on Razor. All right, let's see what happens. National High School Rodeo Association finals qualifier. 78 points on the first ride. Right here, he's got one tapped off, and he's going to work on him, Jerry. Uh-oh. Man, what happened to our cowboy? Once again, we get in trouble. Looked like he was going to ride him all day. That he was in trouble. Yeah, that wasn't what we was expecting. Hutch Haslam, he had that one uh, all figured out. It seems when you get it all figured out, that's when it all goes wrong. Uh, well, maybe, you know, he's getting towards the end of that ride. Maybe he just uh, got distracted, took his mind off of what he was supposed to be doing, ended up on the ground. Well, Hutch is going to make his way through the gate. He's going to go back and think about it for just a few minutes. You're going to get an opportunity to see it once again. Hutch making a nice ride right here, still in control. Right here, you see him getting loosened up, though, and those feet go, and, well, you know, there goes the ride. Well, that's a big, powerful bull brought to town by LB4 Productions. There's that cheerleader I was talking about. Yeah, old Willie. Yeah, you uh, gonna get your girlfriend. Don't get one that looks like that. Will Thorne, Green River, Wyoming. Take you back to the bucket shoots. The next of our Cowboys gonna hunker down on one, regulator the bull, and this is a good cowboy right here, Jerry. Cody Robinson from American Fork, Utah. All right, we're gonna see if this Cowboys uh, got what it takes. He'd been smoking as we got a 73 point ride out of the last effort. This Cowboy been riding them all over. We're gonna see if he can get a qualified ride, but go, oh, no. He loses the hand, Jerry, and pops up and out of there. Got strung out, his arm got straightened out. He got to the back of that bowl and the hand pops out. Cody Robinson with a lot of effort, but not gonna be enough to get him a qualified ride here in the short round of the Lane Frost Challenge. That's uh, too bad for that Cowboy, 73 points on the first effort. We was hoping he was going to be the first Cowboy with two qualified rides, but I'll tell you what, we told you about the very best of the Bucking Bulls, the Eddie Lang Bull underneath him today, Regulator. He was a lot of juice, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Great bull. Good bull, so we bring the very best of them. Fred Kinney, going to be our Cowboy who waits in the wings, and he's going to see if he can stay aboard one of these uh, bad buckers. Let's see what happens here. Vernon, Utah, where the Cowboy calls home. He's close to you. That's right, within 30 miles. 68 points on his first effort. Let's see what happens here. There's another TNR bucket bull save for the very last. See if this Cowboy's got what it takes. As we mentioned, these contractors bring the 18. These are the best bulls in their herd. Well, it's your time to shine right here. Fred Kinney went one up there on the, oh, youch. That one hurt. That might leave a mark, Jerry. Well, it's good he's got that helmet and that mask on. That could have been ugly. Holy moly, he seems to be all right. I'll tell you what, it looked like he had eight seconds uh, conquered right there. Yes, sir. He started a great ride there. Just got tipped forward and got over the front. Look at the momentum of the bull. Keeps drawing he's him down to that front end. Yeah, right yeah. The good momentum good. slings him into the front end. And fortunate for that cowboy, he had that helmet on. Avoids uh, a little injury right there. That's, that's fortunate. Well, Fred Kinney's going to go out with a no score. 68 points on his effort. We've got to get one written in the short go. We do. We're working hard at it. Brad Crooks, a cowboy, he's going to try hard next. 
Let's see if this Cowboy's got what it takes. You know, uh, he's got to ride like he's got something to lose because there's a championship on the line. This is a Cowboy who had 71 points on his last effort. TNR Buck and Bowl, the Cowboy with a, ooh. Another one down early. Yeah, he has a start to one, but I'll tell you, as that bull turns the corner, pitches him right into the dirt, it was a slam dunk. Absolutely. On Brad Crook right there. Yeah, he just didn't ever catch up with that bull. Got behind from the get-go, and things went from bad to worse. Yeah, bad way for a cowboy to get off right there when he had himself set up. He, he comes out with a good start, and boy, he just wasn't set in a position where he was going to make a qualified ride. So too bad for Brad Crook. Down to the final two Cowboys here in the short round. Some more good uh, efforts is what we've got coming your way. We're going to have to get uh, a couple more Cowboys out and see if they can better their efforts from the first time. There's only two Cowboys left. Somebody's got it right. Yeah, Joseph Clegg, he had 65 on his first ride. Another TNR bull here. Well, uh, TNR one's... Joseph can get done here. TNR one's been pretty rank. Yes, they are. See if this Cowboy can stay on for the qualified ride. Settling into the middle of them. All right, Cowboys, circle the wagons. Let's see if we can get yourself up. Uh oh, not going to happen again. This is, uh, this what, is becoming habitual, isn't some it? Some tough bulls. They are rank, and rank bucking bulls. Taking advantage of these Cowboys. We're going to have to turn down the juice on the bucking bulls here so we can get a few qualified rides. I'll tell you what, they are hopped up this afternoon. The Cowboys are uh, going to have to see if they can uh, improve their game if they're going to stay on their efforts on these bulls. Uh, these bulls are getting better and better, as we mentioned, and, and i tell you what, these are some tough bulls. Boy, look at the revolutions on that and the momentum. It's, uh, you've got to be having everything go the right way if you're going to stay on for a qualified ride, don't you? You do. There's a lot of things to think about. You've got to keep the chin down. You've got to keep the back arts, the chest out, the legs down, the feet in. Or, and the free arms got to give you that balance. So Joseph McConnell, 82 points on his first effort. He's on the bull they call Skeeter. He could be a thief right here, Jerry. Well, he's going to win it whether he rides or not. But yeah. He, he, he I'd rather go out riding two bulls. Yeah, he could put together a qualified ride right here and put uh, another one up on the board. Come on, Joe McConnell. Ah, so he falls prey just like all the rest of them into the dirt way too early. But again, Joe's with 82 points coming in. He was the high marked ride and the cowboy that we had to beat here in our short round. Looks like nobody's going to beat him and he's going to do it on one ride. But uh, with no qualified rides in the top goal, that's a tribute to the, the stock contractors. There's Eddie Lang oh. wishing him well. Yeah, Eddie Lang up there on the back of that bucket shooting. I'll tell you, he's, uh, he knows that that one was a bull that put him into the arena floor. That was a good effort on Joseph's part, but that bull just outmatched him today. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a great afternoon of bull riding right here at the Western Park in Vernal, Utah. And as we claim our cowboy there, Joseph McConnell, with only one qualified ride, 82 points, they're going to bring him down to the arena floor, and they've got some uh, awards to give to this cowboy. Again, he's going to walk home with a pocket full of cash. We'll recap that here in just a few minutes on the Lane Frost Challenge. PBR to MBR, Humps and Horns Bull Riding Magazine covers it all. With in-depth stories on up-and-coming riders and highlighting events from around the world. If it happens in the world of bull riding, Humps and Horns covers it. Order today and stay current with all the latest bull riding news and information. Call 866-464-6397 or www.humpsandhorns.com for more information. PBR to MBR, Humps and Horns Bull Riding Magazine covers it all, with in-depth stories on up-and-coming riders and highlighting events from around the world. If it happens in the world of bull riding, Humps and Horns covers it. Order today and stay current with all the latest bull riding news and information. Call 866-464-6397 or www.humpsandhorns.com for more information. Kind of mad myself to fill up that last one. You know, I mean, he bugged and everything, but 
and blue. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't really have a fair shot at him. He's leaning on the leg. I can't make no excuses. You got to go on with it, you know. I can't say anything anymore. He bucked me off. You can't talk crap about a bull if they buck you off, you know. He bucked. He bucked, bucked me off, and you guys, you know. Really nice bull. Thanks for joining us tonight for the Lane Frost Challenge. Boy, you know, Jerry, it's been a great night of bull riding and great livestock was brought to this event and it showed in the short round. We oh, couldn't get any cowboys absolutely. to ride too heavy. Not a qualified ride. We had EMJ Productions, Eldon Munson, we had Eddie Lane, we had Ty Noise and Rex Malolo. But a lot of good bulls in that top pin. Nobody could ride a bull. It was definitely juicy, that's for sure. And, and our champion tonight, well, he comes in with 82 points. One score, Joseph McConnell's our winner. Second place, Hutch Haslam with the 78. Third place was Wasey Allred with the 76. I think once again, Jerry, we paid good tribute to Mr. Uh, Lane Frost and the uh, great traditions that's been passed along here with EMJ Productions and the Lane Frost Challenge Tour. Bring a good Cowboys, great competition. And ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you've enjoyed everything we've brought to you tonight. On behalf of all the folks behind the scenes, I'm Mike Brems, Jerry Hurst. Thanks for being with us and join us at another tour stop of the Lane Frost Challenge.